Possum Kingdom by the Toadies. Uh, a couple things to think about. This is a two guitar song, so I'm going to do my best to morph both parts together for you to make it playable by one person. Um, a lot of weird time signatures, so definitely want to reference uh, the original song, you know, as you, uh, throughout your learning process. And um, yeah, let's get started. So this whole main riff and most of the song is built off of these two chords, the E7 and an A major. And you're going to use this little pull off on the third fret on the B string. Earlier this pull off, you know, make sure you're fretting all the inside strings and hitting them, pulling that off as a chord. Give it to, you know, a down up. And you're going to use a lot of string mutes. Um, definitely got to keep this right hand free flowing throughout this whole. You can't just you can't just stab it. You know, it's even if you're not strumming the whole time, you just just kind of have to keep the rhythm going with it. And um, there's one, there's a lead part here. Um, it's going to be in, I think it's twice in the verse, and then once after the first chorus. It's going to start off on your 7th fret on your A string. I slide into it. So 7th fret off your A. The octave on your uh, G ninth fret. Down to the 7th. 7th on your D and then 6th on your D string. So if you don't have a bar, you, mean you can just bend. Um, you know, you can, uh, you can. The guy kind of maybe goes over live. You know, get some feedback going. And you, can, you can slide up off of that last note. You can use a, an effects pedal. But if you have a bar, you know, you just want to, you know, dive it down a little bit. Um, there's a rhythm to it, but um, that's not something that has to be done like exactly like the album so the last time I just kind of flew it but you can do your own thing with that I mean it doesn't have to be by the book So for the pre-chorus, same thing as the main riff, you're just, you're building it up and this song has a lot of dynamics with the way that riff's played, you know, three or four different patterns throughout the song. And I mean, that's it, you know, just keep that hand flowing and, and build it up. All right, for the chorus, mostly power chords, couple little tricky chords in, in here. Uh, an F sharp power chord, A power chord, back to the E7. Now it goes to this A flat and it's 
I hate to say I don't know the exact name of it. It's kind of like the, they call it, the, that shape is like the Jimi Hendrix chord. Um, you know, leading off your low E, four, three, four, five. And that's going to be really a common, you'll use chord here uh, when we get to the bridge. Uh, followed by an A power chord. And then it goes to this D over F sharp, which I mute the A string. And I don't play the high E. Um, if that becomes a problem, just for starters, you can play the, the D chord. And same thing throughout this whole song. I mean, you can really cheat some of this stuff if, if you're just learning. You can just do two string power chords. be the real dumbed down version right there. But, um, let me play the real the right way, the quote unquote right way, um, slow for you. And one time up to speed. And like I said, you know, when you're working some of these chords in, you can just do three strings for now. Work, work in that last, you know, note on the uh, G string. And it, like I said, it goes for the whole song, the whole riff. You can dumb it down as much as you want and then work your way up to it. Um, the only time you're really going to hear the clashing is if you're, if you're doing it wrong, um, is when you play with the original. chorus, E power chord, A flat power chord, it all goes into this series of uh, power chords and oddball shapes. It's going to start with the A power chord, back to that Jimi Hendrix style chord, and then it goes, I, I hold the same position, but I'm only playing the a, D, and G, but some, you know, if you're fretting it and you hit it, it's no big deal. I just do it for ease of uh, memorizing. Then it goes to the F sharp, back to the, the A flat one, back to the D flat uh, position chord. And then it goes to the um, D power chord. Same thing again. Same again to a B power chord. So it does the whole pattern twice, palm muted, and then it just opens it up. So let me just play it slow to give you a feel for it.
basically when you go into that bridge, you know, if you have a bar, you know, you can just do some fun stuff like that. You can even play the, uh, go over to your amp, get some feedback, you can put a crazy effect pedal in there and get some weird sounds behind it. But basically the lead guy's letting all this noise go behind, the bass comes in, and then the guitar will come in with this. It's gonna go throughout until the until the guitar picks up again. So basically, that's just all off the low E. It opens three four and repeat. So once it gets to the fifth fret, I hit it, mute it, hit it again. Okay, I'm sorry, that would have been the second time. The first time I would have went. Second time. So I'm throwing mutes in. I mean, you can palm mute it. I mean, I don't think anybody's gonna notice. So let me give the pattern one time slow, and it's a little tricky at first, but play along with the album. And, you know, I think it'll you'll eventually get it. back into this E7, followed by, um, you know, the same pull-offs on the A major, and it's just, uh, you're building it up again with that, with a lot of palm mutes, and then it's going to open up into a, more of like a breakdown, kind of like the intro, I guess. So let me just try to play that slow out of the little bridge. Right here. basically it. Um, that's as slow as I can play it right now to make sense. A uh, lot of right hand in this song, you know. Don't don't tighten up, don't be <laughs> down picking, chopping at it. It might take a little practice to get some of the rhythm down, but it'll help work your rhythm hand. In. And after all that, I mean, it just goes through the chorus again. When I'm, you know, once it starts to really break down, I'm just palm you off of the low E. A lot of dynamics in this song. I mean, it might not sound like it from the naked ear, but um, yeah, and just end on that E7. You're good to go.